Uh, she says, I heard a fella claim that John 18, 36 proves that the gospel of the kingdom is spiritual. Can you help me defend against that idea? Uh, John 18, 36, first of all, let me... Uh, uh, read that to you. Jesus answered, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should be delivered to the Jews, but now my kingdom is not from hence. Therefore, this fellow says, the kingdom is spiritual. Now, uh, that is uh, something that uh, for those who just insist on building a spiritual kingdom that we can advance, that we can work in, that we're a part of, the invisible or the mysterious kingdom, there's so much, even in dispensationalism, a desire to do that. You remember that my position is that the kingdom of God is not here at all. Uh, it's not here physically, it's not here spiritually, that the kingdom of God is something that will come when the king arrives. Now, I would say uh, to all of these out here who take this passage, John 18, 36, you know, my kingdom is not of the world, therefore my kingdom must be in the heart, my kingdom must be spiritually, the apostles must have misunderstood my kingdom and Jesus was trying to teach them here. I, I don't think it uh, proves that at all. Uh, in, in fact, uh, it... Uh, it really just confirms some of other of the Hebrew prophets. You know, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, was it Zechariah, I believe, who was speaking of the kingdom, and he says, not by power nor by might, but by my spirit. Huh. Isn't that the same thing as saying, my kingdom is not of this world. If it were of this world, my disciples, they would be with might and power, they would be building the kingdom. But it's not of this world. Or uh, the, uh, even the Lord uh, quoted the passage from uh, one of the Old Testament prophets who uh, says, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. And he's speaking again about the kingdom and the things of the kingdom. How's it going to be accomplished? Not by might nor by power. Not by my disciples building it. It's not growing up from this earth. It's not by us collectively as Christians joining together to build the kingdom and advance the kingdom. It is not of this earth. It is, uh, it is of a another realm is what Jesus is saying. The Hebrew prophets say that. John, Jesus said that in John 18, 36. Uh, and so the kingdom only comes when the king comes. And when the king comes, he is going to establish his kingdom. And the king is coming not from this world, he's coming from another world. So they're making, I think, a logical leap that is false. It does, it, it does not follow, non sequitur, is that the, is that the term? Uh, to, to say, not of this world, therefore means non-physical. That's non sequitur. It doesn't follow. Those two things don't connect together. That's a bad equation that is uh, put together, and we ought to question the assumptions. And it is easy to say, well, it's not of this, uh, not of this world. Yeah, it must be spiritual. But we've got to question, is that what that means? You know, I think uh, we could uh, question it actually quite simply by saying, what else is not of this world? Well, uh, heaven is not of this world. Therefore, heaven is in your heart. Wait a minute, nobody would say that, would they? But it's the same false logical leap. Jesus is not of this world. Therefore, Jesus is just a thing of the Spirit. He's a thing in your heart. No, that's heresy. Jesus is, a, is a, a physical. His body descended, ascended into heaven, and he is there today, physically, not of this world. But he's here. You could, you could argue the same thing about angels who uh, appear in every sense to have a physical being, and yet they're not of this world. It doesn't mean they're spiritual. It just means they're not of this world. This world didn't create them, didn't make them, didn't produce them, doesn't care for them. But And the kingdom is this way. The kingdom is not going to be built by empires. The kingdom is not going to be built by politicians. The kingdom is not going to be built by uh, us fulfilling the seven mountain mandate, which is just stupid theology made up by charismatics. The, the kingdom is not going to be built by uh, Baptists joining together to build the kingdom and advance the kingdom and empower kingdom growth. This is not where it's going to come from. The kingdom comes when the father says to the king, now go and make your enemy a footstool for your feet. Until then, he's seated at the right hand of the father. 
and uh, he's not of this world, it is going to come. So I think that's one of those uh, issues, the kingdom, you know, John 18, 36 proves the kingdom is spiritual, not any more than it proves that heaven is not a physical reality. And that doesn't follow, that uh, is not the case. Uh, so I think this is one of these things that uh, just uh, goes, uh, goes, goes, you know, haywire if you're not uh, careful.